You've just opened your eyes, it's dark outside, the world is quiet. You check the time, it's somewhere between 3 and 5 a.m. Now, most people would just roll over and go back to sleep, but not you. You're going to be different. You're here because you want more from life. The hour when the world is still quiet, and all is calm. But this hour is also a time of great possibility. It's a time to set your intentions, to make a plan, and to take action towards your goals. Between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m., your brain is in a unique state. It's more open to suggestion, more creative, and more connected to your subconscious mind. This is the perfect time to tap into your inner wisdom, to access your deepest desires, and to align your thoughts and actions with your goals. Your brain is in a state of heightened suggestibility, making it the perfect time to reprogram your mind and change your habits when you're in this state, your brain is more receptive to new ideas, more open to new experiences, and more willing to take risks. This is the perfect time to challenge your assumptions, to question your beliefs, and to explore new possibilities. Your brain is like a sponge, soaking up new information and ideas, and incorporating them into your existing knowledge base. This is the power of suggestibility, and it's what makes this hour so special. Now, this is about the time. Let's say you have woken up at 4.30 in the morning what to do. The first thing you should do when you wake up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. is to meditate. Now, I'm not talking about just sitting there with your eyes closed, trying to think about nothing. I'm talking about a specific type of meditation that rewires your brain and changes your energy field. This type of meditation is called heart-centered meditation. It's a practice that focuses on the heart chakra, the center of love, compassion, and connection. By focusing on the heart, you'll be able to tap into your deepest desires, let go of negative emotions, and connect with your inner self. To meditate, start by finding a quiet and comfortable place to sit. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, feeling the air move in and out of your body. Bring your attention to your heart, and imagine it glowing with a warm, golden light. As you breathe, imagine this light spreading throughout your body, filling your lungs, your stomach, your arms, and legs. It reaches the top of your head and the tips of your toes. You're now a being of pure, radiant energy. Next, think about how you want your day to unfold. Not just the events, but how you want to feel. Confident, energized, loving, creative. Feel those emotions in your body, let them wash over you like a wave. And here's the key, while holding on to those feelings, start to visualize your ideal future. See yourself living the life you've always dreamed of. Maybe you're standing on a stage, sharing your message with thousands. Maybe you're in perfect health, running along a beautiful beach. Maybe you're surrounded by loving family and friends, feeling completely at peace. Whatever your vision is, make it as vivid and detailed as possible. Use all your senses. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? How does your body feel? Remember, the goal of meditation isn't to achieve a specific state or stop your thoughts completely. It's to cultivate awareness, clarity, and connection to your inner self. By doing so, you'll be able to navigate life's challenges with greater ease, confidence, and joy. The second thing you should do when you wake up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. is to move your body. Now, I'm not talking about just some light stretching or a quick workout. I'm talking about a mindful, intentional movement practice that gets your energy flowing and wakes up your central nervous system. This could be yoga, tai chi, qigong, or even just some simple stretches. The key is to move with intention and awareness. Start by standing up, taking a few deep breaths, and feeling your feet connected to the ground. Imagine roots growing from your feet, anchoring you to the earth. Slowly start to move, reaching your arms up towards the sky, feeling your spine lengthening, twisting gently from side to side, letting your arms swing freely. Roll your shoulders, circle your hips, 
bend and straighten your knees. As you move, pay attention to how your body feels. Notice any areas of tension or discomfort. Don't judge these sensations, just observe them. As you move, focus on your breath, feeling the air move in and out of your body. Imagine your breath as a healing light that dissolves any blockage, releases any tension, and fills your body with energy and vitality. Continue moving, letting your body guide you, and your breath follow. Finally, take a moment to stand still, feeling the energy of your body, the flow of your breath, and the connection to the earth. Imagine a beam of light shooting out from the top of your head, connecting you to the infinite wisdom of the universe. Feel the energy coursing through your body, and know that you are fully awake, fully alive, and fully connected to yourself and the world around you. The third thing you should do when you wake up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. is to learn something new. Now, I'm not talking about just passively scrolling through social media or watching random videos. I'm talking about intentional, focused learning that expands your mind and challenges your assumptions. This could be reading a book, listening to a podcast, or taking an online course. The key is to choose something that genuinely interests you, something that you've always wanted to learn more about. Set aside at least 30 minutes for focus, and immerse yourself in the information. As you learn, pay attention to your emotional state. Notice how you feel when you encounter new ideas or information. Do you feel excited, curious, or inspired? Or do you feel anxious, defensive, or resistant? Allow yourself to explore these emotions, and see where they take you. As you learn, start to think about how you can apply what you've learned to your life. How can you use this new information to challenge your assumptions, to grow as a person, and to achieve your goals? Make connections between what you're learning and your existing knowledge and experiences. Finally, take a moment to reflect on what you've learned. What insights have you gained? What new perspectives have you gained? What new ideas have you gained? Allow yourself to integrate this new information into your existing knowledge and experiences, and see how it transforms your life. Remember, the goal of learning isn't to accumulate knowledge for its own sake. It's to use that knowledge to grow, to evolve, and to become the best version of yourself. By doing so, you'll be able to navigate life's challenges with greater ease, confidence, and joy. Now that you've learned the three habits of waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m., it's time to put them into practice. This is the most important part of the process, as it's where you'll start to see real results and transformation in your life. The first thing you need to do is overcome any resistance you may have to waking up early. This may include feeling tired, grumpy, or unmotivated. But remember, the benefits of waking up early far outweigh the temporary discomfort of getting up early. To overcome resistance, try to find a consistent wake-up time and stick to it, even on weekends. This will help regulate your body's internal clock and make it easier to wake up in the morning. Next, create a routine that works for you. This may include a morning meditation practice, a workout routine, or a time for learning and personal growth. The key is to find activities that nourish your mind, body, and spirit, and make them a priority in your daily routine. Finally, be patient and persistent. It may take some time to see results, but with consistent practice and dedication, you'll start to notice changes in your life. You'll feel more energized, more focused, and more motivated to take on the day. Remember, the key to success is to make these habits a part of your daily routine. Don't try to do too much too soon, and don't get discouraged if you don't see results right away. With time and practice, you'll start to see the benefits of waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. and transform your life in the process. The journey to transforming your life has come to an end. The key to success is to make the habits of waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. a part of your daily routine. Don't try to do too much too soon, and don't get discouraged if you don't see results right away. With time and practice, 
you'll start to see the benefits of waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. and transform your life in the process. The power to transform your life is within you. It's up to you to take control of your thoughts, your emotions, and your actions. By waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. and incorporating the three habits into your daily routine, you'll be taking the first steps towards unlocking your full potential and living the life you've always dreamed of. Are you ready to take control of your life? Are you ready to wake up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. and start transforming your life? If so, then let's do this. Let's make it happen. Consistency and patience are key. With time and practice, you'll start to see the benefits of waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. and transform your life in the process. Remember, the most important thing is to be consistent and patient. With time and practice, you'll start to see the benefits of waking up between 3 o'clock and 5 a.m. and transform your life in the process.